Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick pick a pile reading. I'm going to pull the cards in front of you. So just pull, go with whatever um, pile you feel drawn to. I'm going to do a few messages for each one. So that's pile one. Let's do pile two. Now for tarot reading, for those of you that are just getting into it, I think someone here needs to hear this. You just you just trust it. You just just don't overthink it. When you're pulling the cards, you just I just trust it. Sometimes you might feel drawn to certain cards, but you can you can pull the cards however you want. You can shuffle the way that feels right for you. You can pull from the you can shuffle and pull from the bottom of the deck, from the top of the deck. You can pull random ones. You can lay them all out and choose. It's it's whatever feels right for you. There's not really a as far as I know, I don't think there's a wrong way to do it. Okay, so just look at these, feel the energy, kind of tune in. Um, maybe you felt it while I was pulling it, like something just kind of told you, like, oh, it's this pile or this pile. Just, just give it a minute. Just which ones do you feel drawn to? Here, I'll put stones on. For those of you that are not sure yet, I'll put some stones. What stone do you feel drawn to? I'm going to give it a minute. You can pause, too, and just... Whatever one you're feeling. Okay. How one. I'm afraid of getting hurt, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith for you. You're my best friend. So this could be a friendship, and this person wants it to be more than a friendship, but they haven't let you know. Um, it might be a coworker or someone that's watching you. Some sort of secret admirer energy here is what I'm getting. I detached from the karmic. I'm planning out a way to finally end things with them. I'm working hard to remove all the obstacles that have been keeping us apart. I can't handle being away from you any longer. Gossip and rumors played a role in our separation, and I'm trying to get my life together so I can come back to you with a stable love offer. So this might be someone that you kind of feel like they moved on, or you're not sure where you stand with them. Um, they Their feelings are stronger than they let on. You know, they are afraid of getting hurt. They do feel a deep connection. They do feel like you're their best friend. Um, there might have been some drama or something, some gossip, rumors, people trying to separate you. You might not even be aware of it completely. But, uh, yeah, they're working on this. They're working on removing the obstacles. They're working on whatever it was that was keeping you two apart, you know. They, they want to make sure, they know that you're special. So they want to make sure if they come back in that they come in with a solid love offer. They don't want to just half-ass it. For some, though, this feels like, because I feel like this person has you on a pedestal. So for some, I feel like this could be like a secret admirer type, like someone who's spying on your social media or somebody who is um, like a coworker or a maybe like a friend and they want to present a love offer to you but they want to make sure it's legit because they know that once they cross that line like there's no going back you know they've crossed that line and you guys are no longer just friends so they want to make sure that they do it right but this person really respects you this person I'm getting like really admires you really looks up to you um really feels good about you so they're kind of shy and hesitant because they don't want to come forward unless they know um, like they want to be ready. They want to make sure that they have something good to offer you. So this is either a friend who's wanting to give you a love offer or it's just somebody who doesn't quite have their life figured out. And so they're trying to make sure that like any ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend drama is all out of the way. Make sure that they're emotionally ready for this because they see a commitment with you. Like they know that they, they know that you're special. They know that once this starts, it's like this could be a, a lifelong partnership. And so they want to make sure that they're really ready and that they have a lot to offer you before they come in. So this seems like a pretty good energy here. Let's see what we got for pile two. At this time, it's best for me. Oops, sorry. At this time, it's best for me to, uh, to wait for me to reach out first. I have a bad habit of taking you for granted. I'm thinking about what you said. I've grown up and I'm ready for commitment. So someone who might have been immature, kind of emotionally unavailable for a while, but they're they're working on it. They're you might have helped them grow. There may be something that you said or did that kind of 
made them realize that they're going to lose you or just made them realize that they need to grow up, that they need to figure their life out. Like you kind of keep them on their toes is what I'm getting here. It's like there's there's something about your energy that kind of challenges them in all the right ways. Like they just, they want to be good enough for you. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. Um, you have multiple potential partners. Your energy is magnetic. So this person that was emotionally unavailable, they are working on themselves. They are, there's something about your energy that shifted, I feel. Like you've really come into like your queen energy or your king energy, um, male or female, whatever the situation is. It's like you've just sort of stepped up. You're, you're more powerful than you were before. And so they're not taking you for granted the same way they were before. And they're really wanting to... Um, I just feel them being like really turned on. I feel a very strong sexual energy with this group too. Like they're really turned on by you. They really admire you. They, um, it's like something, it's like a teasing kind of energy. Like something about your energy is just pulling them in and seducing them. And they just, God, how do I even describe that energy? It's like they took you for granted in the past, but I feel like something is shifting or something already has shifted maybe to do with something that you said. And now it's like they're wanting to grow up. They're wanting to be more mature. They're seeing you in a different light. They're seeing you're, you're coming into your power and people are noticing that you're coming into your power. Like exes from your past are feeling that energetic shift that you're coming into your power and they can't just do whatever they want anymore. You know, like they're wanting, they're realizing what a catch you are and they didn't realize it before. You know, but your energy is beautiful inside out. Your energy draws them in. It's mesmerizing. But you have multiple partners. Like I said, you're coming into your power, so you're going to be manifesting love quickly. And it's like you're going to have a lot of par partners to choose from. I'm returning. I want to be with you. So this is someone from your past, I feel. I was afraid of how quickly I was falling in love with you, so I ran. So yeah, someone who is emotionally unavailable, they might honestly still be emotionally unavailable, but they just feel that there's like an energetic shift where that if they don't hurry up, they're going to lose you for good. And so it's like, they might feel this energy that you have multiple partners coming in. And so it's like, they just, they want to hurry up, you know, they, they just, they want to do things differently here. You know, this is some good energy here. That's good energy. Okay. Third pile. You're my safe space, my fre frequent daydream. Sometimes it feels like it's easier just to live in this imaginary world that I've cre imaginary world I've created in my head. Can't talk apparently. There's no one like you. I realize now I won't be able to find a love like ours in somebody else. I looked for love in the wrong places. I look at your pictures often. So this is like a dreamer type. This could be someone who's kind of like nerdy, sweet, um, idealistic. They're, they're a very emotionally deep person, but they're just like, they're afraid. That's the, that's the issue is that they can just, they just, they, they've been damaged in the past. And so they just kind of shut down. And now it's like, they just dream. It's like, they know there's no one else like you. They know that they can't. So they're coming to this awareness too. Look, I realize now I won't be able to find a love like ours with someone else. I looked for love in all the wrong places. So it's like, maybe this person did choose someone else over you. And now they're realizing what a mistake that was. Or like whatever, there's just some kind of energy where it's like they're comparing other people to you. Like they know that they're exes or if they're like currently with someone, like they know that they just don't compare to you. Like it's not the same energy. Like they feel like it's like you're their unicorn is kind of what I get from this. It's like, I don't know if you've ever heard that expression, like being someone's unicorn. It's like you're just so amazing to them. Like you're so different. You're so creative. You're so unique that if they had you and they lost you, it would devastate them for the rest of their life. And so it's like they just want to dream about you because they're they're too afraid of taking that risk. You know, it's like it's easier for them sometimes to just live in that world they created in their head. Um, and they're but yeah, they're they're at least acknowledging that they're not going to find this with somebody else. Like they know that you're special. They have this awareness. I've come so close to messaging you. I start typing, but then I overthink and end up deleting everything that I wrote. So you might be feeling that energy too when they're thinking about you and they're they're thinking about coming forward. Like you can kind of sense that. It's like they want to message you. And yeah, they're they're afraid that you'll break their heart. It's hard for them to fully trust you. And they look at your pictures often. So again, like the energy of like spying and daydreaming, it's like 
they probably don't verbalize um like how they feel about you but they probably like you probably feel their energy like you probably have a deep psychic connection with this person and you probably feel their energy like you probably feel them um like you probably just sense them like you probably you know what I mean like when they think about you or there might be like a sexual energy there like you can kind of just feel them like you can sense them like preparing to message you or just dreaming about you or like you show up in their dreams they show up in your dreams it's that kind of energy where um but it's like that's the problem is like they can just live inside their head like what's the action they might take towards you you're so different than anyone I've met you've helped me become a better person I'm waiting for a clear opening I don't know how you feel I want clarity and certainty before I reach out so yeah someone who's really afraid of getting hurt could be because I feel like a shy nerdy sweet like admirer type so maybe this is someone who just feels like they feel like you're too beautiful or too attractive for them they feel like you're out of their league and so it makes it hard for them because they're afraid to come forward so they just kind of dream about you like they feel like you could only just be a dream like they don't feel like you would ever want them like they feel like you might be uninterested and detached you know I'm damaged I don't know how to open my heart again it's like they're some ex in their past just made them really insecure I want to be your, your hero, your warrior, your protector, your everything. You bring out that side of me. So it's like they do want to come forward, but the insecurity needs to be addressed because so far they're just dreaming and they're, they're longing for you and you guys are picking up on each other psychically, but they just, I mean, they just don't think that, they don't think they're good enough for you. They think that you're way out of their league, like physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. They just think that you're like on this whole nother level, like it hasn't, it just doesn't compute that they could have you, that, that this could be mutual, you know, or maybe this is someone that doesn't know if you're going to forgive them. It's just that kind of energy where they, they need like a green light. doesn't mean you have to ask them out, but they just maybe some flirting or something to let them know that they can go ahead. Anyway, I hope this resonates. Um, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up so quickly. And if you'd like a private reading, my Prices are currently $40 for a 30 plus minute video. Um, my prices are probably going to go up to $50 in February. I don't think I'm going to raise my prices again after that. It's probably just going to stay at 50 at least for a long time. Um, so yeah, my email address is below if you'd like a reading. And I'm, I'm free to do it today. Uh, free, to, free today and tomorrow and should be free um, up until about the, the weekend. I'm, I'll, I'll probably be working on my... Uh, my uh, regular videos but anyway and subscribe if this resonates thanks for watching